Good afternoon, everybody. I'm StormTrack meteorologist Nate Harrington. Wanted to give you an update on your Thursday afternoon. It is a weather aware day for central Alabama with the potential for some strong storms this evening. We've had already some pretty strong storms this afternoon move through central Alabama, some strong enough to knock out some power in a few spots. But right now, most of these just packing a little bit of lightning, some heavy rain, and a little bit of gusty wind, and that's it. We're expecting a more hefty line of showers and thunderstorms to move through later on tonight. So let's break down that timing for you. Storm track future cast shows the rain that we have around right now. We're expecting this to clear out a little break, and then we see the squall line move through. This is going to be associated with a cold front. That'll provide the lift that these storms need to uh, maintain themselves through the state. So by 6 o'clock, this evening in northwest Alabama, or at least the northwest corner of central Alabama, folks in Marion, Winston counties, uh, Pickens County, Lamar County, Fayette County, Walker County, you'll see these storms first. Then it moves through the I-65 corridor by 8 o'clock, and right along actually 20 and 59 from Tuscaloosa all the way up to Gadsden by 8 o'clock. Then it'll transition to the east and southeast from 8 o'clock until 10 o'clock. Could see some storms down south. I think that's where the stronger storms will maintain themselves later on tonight with a little bit more instability. But uh, as for the most part, 10 o'clock on, we see the rain move out and the storms move out as well. So kind of a short duration event, only about a four to five hour window where we'll see the heaviest of the rain and thunderstorms. Then tomorrow morning, maybe some lingering clouds and a shower or two, but the afternoon looking pretty good. Cooler and drier air moves in by Friday, and we enjoy a very nice weekend ahead. Wait till you see some of the temperatures we're forecasting for both Saturday and Sunday. It will not look or feel like early in mid-May around central Alabama for the weekend. We'll break that down for you coming up tonight on the CBS 42 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. And Michael Smith will be in at 10 o'clock uh, as well. And uh, make sure you're staying up to date with the StormTrack weather app and WIT.com. We'll see you later, guys.